All right, on today's video, I'm gonna to try to help you out with something that can trick you up pretty bad if you're not paying attention. What we've got is a new porch roof going on to this house right here, and the rafters are a different width. They're two by eight rafters. The ones up here are two by 12 rafters. And also the beam that I'm setting these rafters on is a different width than the wall up there. Up there is a two by six wall. This beam is gonna be four and a half inches wide. It's three boards wide. So that means that the heel height of our new rafters is different than the rafters up there. That means the vertical, the plumb height from the cut on the bird's mouth to the top of the rafter is different. So I need to figure out how much higher I need to make these new beams to butt into this wall to make the top of the roof and the fascia boards line up the same. That's important. The whole point of this is to get our new fascia to line up with the height of this fascia having the same depth overhang of a foot. Now we could get it to line up if we shrunk or uh, lengthen the overhang, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna have one foot here, one foot here, everything line up, same height, good to go. And this can mess you up. <laughs> I've messed up myself. In fact, I just messed up. I did it once and it was wrong. Russ, I got bad news. Those posts are too short. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna take these down and put some taller ones up. All right, so I wanted a foolproof way to check the difference in heel heights on these rafters. What I'm gonna do is cut a mock-up of each, one of the two by 12 with the correct bird's mouth and then one of the two by eight rafter with the correct bird's mouth. I'm gonna hold them up next to each other and measure the difference. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna make a mock-up of the two by 12 rafters I have. I have a mock-up of the wall plate, which is right here, the two by six right here. And so this would be our bird's mouth cut right there. And actually, we just ran it on out to make a two by six overhang like this. But I have my plum cut marked and my bird's mouth cut. So I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm gonna show you the next one. All right, now I've got a two by eight, that's seven and a quarter, which is gonna be our rafters for the porch roof we're putting on. I'm gonna make the bird's mouth cut here. So it's a four and a half, it's a triple girder. One, two, three, two by tens. Uh, I'm gonna make a plumb line on that and that'll be the outside face of that girder. So actually uh, scratch that, that girder will be right here. All right, so I've got a mock-up cut for my two by eight rafters with a plumb line that's on the outside of the beam is where that is. I got a two by 12 rafter mock-up cut with a plumb line that'll be the outside of the wall that's existing. So all I'm gonna do is take these two mock-ups, I'm gonna flush the top of these and I'm gonna line up the plumb lines that would be representing the outside of the wall and the outside of the beam. And we're gonna measure and see what the wall height difference is gonna be. Okay, got them flush on top. And I've got the plumb line lined up right there. And so my new beam needs to be four and three quarter taller than my existing wall. So that's what we're gonna do. All right guys, we got our girder up here and I put it four and three quarter inches higher than the wall in there. And I finished my mock-up. I made this a foot, which is what I want the overhang to be. I'm gonna set it on top of this beam and see if we came out to the same fascia height, which is what I was doing all this for. And you can see that if I set this on here, set the bird mouth plumb, it uh, goes right to where I wanted it. So that actually worked this time. Uh, last time it didn't, so. All right guys, we're done. We actually have a fascia board that lines up with this one vertically. It came right in where we wanted it to, so that's a surprise. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.